So what's up, y'all? It's Bree Steves. I'm here rocking with Hip Hop since 1987. Log on. Hip Hop since 1987.com. It's your boy E Money. I am here with a dope up and coming artist that if you don't know who she is, you will know very soon. Miss Bree Steves, how are you? I'm good, man. Okay, okay. Well, first and foremost, thank you for sitting with us. You know what I mean? I know no you're very problem. busy. Yeah. Now, um, for those who aren't familiar with you, maybe you can give them a little background on who you are, what it is you do. All right. Well, I mean, I'm a hip hop R&B artist. Um, rap sing I'm in school right now um, man I just been doing music for years like I just been writing for years and just trying to make it like everybody else okay okay Bro. super humble with it now <laughs> spit dope bars you know what I'm saying you said you're in school you mm -hmm. engineer your own material yes I from do. what I understand so first and foremost where are you from you from Philly yes what part of Philly are you from? So right now I'm in North Philly. I was born in East Falls, though. Okay, uptown. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so, yeah, right now um, I reside over by Temple. Okay. You know what I mean? As I'm finishing out my last senior year and everything, okay. so that's where you can find me. All right, so you are you a Temple student? I am. Okay, I'm what you I'm a senior right now. I'm PR, okay. um, So, but my track is in entertainment PR, so okay. I do a lot of stuff with, like, audio engineering, okay. um, I take mm -hmm. class songwriting, anything, you know what I mean? Okay. Anything music I can get my hands on. Okay. Now you are um a lot of people are paying attention to, a lot of industry <laughs> people. So I gotta ask, man, how is it um balancing, you know, being a student while at the same time pursuing your dreams? I mean it's not easy, mm -hmm. but I got amazing professors. Um, shout out to my boy David Brown. Anyway, uh so <laughs> basically I do music when I'm not in class. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I say I'm not in class, I'm talking about when I'm walking to class. Gotcha, you know what gotcha, I mean? Gotcha, when I'm gotcha. going to get some food from the sack or whatever. Right. Like, I have my headphones in all the time. Like, I'm known for that walking around campus right. with my composition book okay. and just zoning out. Okay. So that's what I do. Um, I live with the studio in my, my place. Mm. So, you know, it's not always the easiest thing mm. um, when I got to do homework, when I really want to write this song. Mm. But, you know, my moms would kill me if I ever didn't really focus and do what I had to do. Okay. So I got to finish. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. Now, you said your major is uh, PR, but with the audio engineering. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, you're recording your own stuff. Yes. How's uh, just just what made you want to be that hands on? Like, was it like, man, I don't have studio time or I'm not feeling the engineers I'm dealing with? Like, that is very. It's awesome. So, you asked me if, um, what wanted me, what made me well, want to do it in school or just period? Just recording. Period. Period. Well, either way, yeah. All right, so basically, I mean, funny story. So. It happened because niggas was shitting on me, basically, when I would go to the studio and I would try to learn. You know, I always wanted to take this music stuff seriously, but, you know, nobody would teach me. You know, when I come in a room, either they thought I was fucking somebody, excuse my language, or they thought, you know what I mean, I was somebody's girlfriend, or they just wouldn't pay no attention to me at all, like I wasn't there. You know what I mean? So I was like, you know what, I could do what y'all do and probably better than than y'all can do it, for real, for real. So I did my research, got my equipment, spent my car fund on that. Um, Turned out a couple jobs actually did to get that equipment. I was broke for a little bit. Um, got the stuff in my space and I just started going here. Just start going at it. Um, and since I was in school at the same time, I'm like, yo, why not? I can take a whole bunch of classes on whatever I want. You know, if I'm gonna be here, I might as well get the best of it. And I just kept going on. You know what I mean? Continuing on with it. See, that's dope, man. I figured it had to be a story <laughs> where you know you wasn't getting what you wanted out of situation because that always breeds. Um, the best results, man, when you force to make Basically. yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It always does, man. Okay. I mean, I'm always, I'm always about, you know, women being about their shit. You know, my mom is like a strong figure in my life. You know, she's very independent. So she's always had this mindset like, yo, if you want something, you do it. Don't matter. You know, I, I just grown up watching my mom do stuff on her own, mm -hmm. not being checked by a dude. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, so. That's inspiration for me to kind of go out and do it on my own as well. You know what I mean? I grew up watching women in my family not have to depend on guys for anything or not mm -hmm. having to, you know what I mean, get an okay from somebody. They just always was great and they didn't care. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? It didn't matter that they in a male dominated industry or whatever. Yeah. Like they just, you know, it's about their shit. So that's what I try to do okay. all the time. Okay. Well, you've definitely embodied that uh, mentality to the point where, you know, like I said, you have uh, some 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 major people um, interested in uh, signing you. You you got Atlantic. Mm -hmm. You got TDE. Kendrick, name you know dropping. What I'm <laughs> good music yeah um so let's let's talk a little bit about that uh would you want to stay independent how did first and foremost how does it feel to just know that you have the interests of individuals like that like i said kendrick man for people who aren't familiar with your music man, you're dope spitter mm -hmm. so just to have you know one of the top three spitters in the game right now in my opinion mm -hmm. you know to appreciate what you're doing like how does that feel i mean it's 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 definitely like an outer body experience, man. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it still feel very surreal mm -hmm. to get that kind of confirmation from people that you idol. You know what I mean? Did like, y'all meet? Oh uh, yeah, we met. We met. Okay, okay, um, okay, okay. But just, just kind of. I mean, I can't even really describe that experience yeah. for real. Um, it just feels great, you know, knowing that I stuck to this path even when it wasn't easy, mm -hmm. and even when people was kind of doubting me um or even when I felt unsure and I have had that confirmation kind of pay off like yo you meant to do this and and you was right you know what I mean fuck what everybody else is saying but you was right you know and kind of sticking to that type mm -hmm. of mindset so everything now has just been kind of exciting you know what I mean it's kind of like shit man I actually can do this for real so I don't know I'm just kind of in a space between excited and how the hell is this happening to me okay, okay. yeah so do you think you'll you'll sign or do you want to stay independent? Like um I'll or just back here, huh? Okay, All right. okay. Um, I'm not sure yet. Um I mean I'm kinda just in between, just kinda To be continued. Yeah, to be continued, just figuring out exactly where I wanna go, what's the best thing for me. Okay. And now you gotta tell the people what it was like when you when you met Kendrick. Like what was that? How'd that go? <sighs> Alright, um so basically when I met Kendrick, man, um, you know, I know during the day, like I was, I had to meet other kind of people, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like publishing stuff like that, kind of just did my one, two, one, two, mm -hmm. and just kind of perform my songs or just show them my type of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I get told, you know, when I'm in one meeting, like, yo, you want to meet Dot tonight? And I said, oh, you know, you know, maybe it's a producer they talk about yeah. Dot, you know, they can't meet. Yeah. I said, what are they talk about? He said, Kendrick. I said, nah, you lying. Yeah. You lying. Yeah. So, you know, basically, we, uh, I go and record during that day to come, you know, my production team, um, Star Island, come and scoop me. Mm -hmm. And we go into the studio. I'm not going to lie, man. I had to get like a Red Bull. I was like, I was so damn nervous. I had, I had the jitters and everything. So I was like, fuck, you better not mess up your words, nigga. That's how I felt. Mm -hmm. um, we go in there, and, you know, it's a couple people in a, you know, a little studio space. And, you know, he's over there. So, you know, I'm just making sure to say hi to everybody in the room. Mm -hmm. Turn my songs on. I know at that moment, I'm just like, man, I came this far. I ain't fucking up. Down. Like, yeah, if, I, yeah. if I came this far, man, he gonna see what I gotta do. Yeah. And... Man, I just spit my songs for him. I didn't care. I had balls still. I didn't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was fucking with me. You know what I mean? So, and I was just kind of like, fuck, man. I performed in front of Kendrick. I could do anything now, man. There ain't nothing I can't do. So, it was a great experience getting a vibe out with him. And he's like such a, um, he appreciates music and, you know, real artistry. Mm -hmm. um, so, that was something to me because I know... I know I'm like watching this dude's videos and his performances and just like, you know, listening to his stuff, you know, word for word. And it's like, man, this nigga's dope. And actually get to meet him face to face and get to share my music and have him listen to it and appreciate it, man. That's like one of the most rewarding things for me as an artist. So, man. That's very dope. Very yeah. dope. Now, um, let's talk about the music a little bit. You said okay. you're doing some, you know what I mean, some music for him, man. I, I want the people to really uh, tune in to what you got going on. Now, right now, I know you have the Summer is Mine mm -hmm. record and the videos out, um, which you kind of redid the uh, Summertime by Fresh Prince, mm -hmm. um, which I got to salute you. That was very gutsy. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like when people redo classes because they never hit the mark, but that was that was really good. Thank you. You got the um, Ooh, mm -hmm. uh, the young, young M.A., mm -hmm. and you did the, the Ooh Freestyle. You got a video for that. Yeah. 
But I know that's not the best representation for what you do. It's not. I feel like, I feel like, I'm extremely blessed to be here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, because you know people haven't even really heard the sound yet. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. like you know, it'll definitely be cool when I really put out my shit and yeah. really put out my original records and stuff I've been working on. You yeah. know what I mean? Behind the scenes. Okay. Um, you know. When will we get that? That's that's. So I want the people to hear the stuff that I I know the 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 music that empowers females the music where you get super deep like mm-hmm. that's what I want them to hear. Man, so you can't gonna... rush the process, man. Hey, Real artistry, man. man. I feel just know that it's coming. I'm not gonna keep people waiting too long. You okay. feel me? Um, okay. it's just I'm getting all my ducks in a row, man. If I'm gonna put it out, I'm gonna do it right. I'm not gonna right. put it out just for you know to fall on deaf ears or anything. Um, so it's like I just want it. I want people to appreciate it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, but guarantee it's it's coming. It's coming okay. soon. I can't give you an exact date, okay. but it's real. I'm not one of the people that's. I'm not gonna Frank Ocean you. You know what okay. I mean? Like it's it's coming. <laughs> I respect. It's coming. Okay. Now, do you have any records you got done? Any production features we can talk about right now? I mean, I can't talk about them. Mm-hmm. Um, but as far as records, I mean, I cut myself, so I know I have like over fifty, over seventy. Mm-hmm. Um, that I just have. Um, that I fuck with. Okay, okay. That other people fuck with behind okay. the scenes. Um, okay. yeah, I got a lot. Okay. I got some. I got some stuff, man. I got. I got some stuff. All right, all right. Well, you know, you know, our uh, fans will definitely uh, stay tuned to what you got going on. Is there anything you like to leave us with before we get out of here? Um, before we get out of here, I mean, I kind of just want to take a second to speak, especially to my ladies. Um, you know. I know a lot, I get a lot of questions all the time about like, yo, is it is it still possible? You know, can I really follow my, my heart and my dreams of what I want to do? And I just want to say personally, man, like, don't ever give up on your dreams of what you want to do, man. Because at the end of the day, if you are a woman and you really do your due diligence with like working hard and really be about your shit, like can't nobody stop you. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's really important because that meant something to me in terms of me continuing on this path and getting to the next step and the next level and where I have to go in life. And I just want to say to any woman that's trying to pursue her dreams, don't get discouraged in the least, man. Work harder, outwork everybody, and prove everybody wrong. So that's kind of what I want to leave women with. You know this, know this to my men, you feel me? Like, I still got love for y'all, but my ladies, man, like, keep hustling, yo. It's possible. What more can you say after that, man? It's your boy E Money, Bree Steves, signing out with Hip Hop Since 1987.com. We out of here. Peace out, y'all. Hip Hop Since 1987.com. Twenty-three racks for the bird, twenty-three hundred for the reef. All you want is twenty-three on your sneakers. Grass is session, my client tell us to teach us I'm way in back of the class, I'm just trying to finger a leash I'm gone at the advisory, I went nasty in every lunch I got the munchies and hell on every blunt, I'm high as fuck Please don't turn me up to turn me down, I'm sizzling at My feelings is up, I'm drilling it up, I'm pulling the top back off the white pound Uh, Wenger, Hockey, Nice Town K Yuga got my favorite shooter, doing life now Rest in peace to cash, we used to celebrate the past On a Henny, baby, smoke the end of the curtain to the ash Like the past, smoke the past, we just Getting out of bag, praying for my young K. Got him champ up in the feds.